Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert, and this week in the editor of Pro Tools, we've reached the letter M. M in this case stands for mute. Apart from obvious things like having mute buttons and being able to command M mute clips. Also, if you press Shift and M, you can toggle that mute button from the keyboard. If you've got more than one track selected, you can do some interesting things. So here I'll select my two kick drum tracks. In this case, I've got some drum tracking and I've got two alternate processing chains, one to give a tight kick drum, one to give a wubby kick drum. If I mute one of those, then by pressing Shift and M, I can toggle the mute state of those two tracks, which is really handy for comparison. So here we go, which one do I prefer? There we are. What happens if you have more than one pair of tracks selected? Well, down here, if I would maybe press uh, Shift, not Shift, what am I saying? If I were to press Command and make a non-contiguous selection, and then I maybe muted the tight and the stereo overhead, so I could either listen to the mono overhead with the wubby kick or the tight kick with the stereo overheads, you can toggle the state of uh, more than one track at a time, like so. There we are. I hope you found that useful. See you next time for more A to Z of Pro Tools.